had our first wireless headset that um, worked out really well, and we were really happy with the response that we got from that. Uh, but we knew right away that it was more focused towards the casual market, and we wanted something that was geared a little more towards kind of hardcore gamers uh, that gave a little bit more of an advantage as opposed to just being a good audio device. So there's been other headsets out there that have rumble motors in them and this comes with a lot of problems and that's why we decided to use an actuator instead. Uh, an actuator functions much more like a speaker cone in that it uh, actuates in and out uh, based on electrical input, whereas a rumble motor is an actual motor and it has to spin up and spin down and it causes a lot more lag time and gives you less control of your actual response. So this technology based impact can translate quite a few different ways into actual gameplay. Uh, and kind of help change your experience in ways that we haven't really been able to do before. This can be rather simple, just in listening to audio tracks and background noises. It can add a much richer low frequency response. We can also respond to very specific interactions in a game. So in a driving game, we can pulse when different cars are nearby. If there's a car coming up behind you, we can detect differences in the engine sounds and know that there's a car coming up and give you pulses to give you that extra information that you might not have otherwise. In shooting games, this is also very relevant. When we have people sneaking around us or explosions going on, uh, it again gives us that extra trigger that can help us acquire more information than we'd normally have on a regular headset. Given all these different categories of how we can use this Pulse technology, we've combined them into different presets. Uh, those presets run for shooter games, driving games, fighting games, as well as adding a movie and a music mode for non-gaming content. So one thing I like about this headset a lot more than the older version is this one has an analog input so you can connect to mobile devices and you're not as restricted to staying in your house with your PlayStation. So I really like the design of this headset. Uh, I find it to be very stylish. It also is much more comfortable on your head. It has pretty high clamping force so it doesn't really move around if you are out and about. So another great thing about this design is it has hidden dual microphones that can do echo noise cancellation. Uh, this works really well for voice chat. If you're in a noisy room even, uh, they're not going to pick up background noise, even though the microphone's a little further away from your face than it would be with a boom. So I personally like to have the pulse just be a slight enhancement to my experience. Uh, I can do this with the bass impact slider that we have. Uh, it lets you tune exactly how much it will respond given different situations, and you can do that to your taste. Another good improvement over the last stereo headset is this wireless adapter has an audio in. This lets you tie together your entertainment system and consolidate sound while staying on the same headset. So that was a quick overview of the new Pulse wireless stereo headset. And if you have any questions, you can leave them on the PlayStation blog.